This video will walk you through how to register as an individual website in NHD Web Central. Please note that these instructions are for students working individually. If you're working as a group, please use the instructions for group registration at nhd.org slash nhdwebcentral. So the first thing we'll need to do is go to nhdwebcentral.org and you'll be taken to a landing page that looks like this. Since we're registering for the first time, we're going to click this register button. Before you register, you can review NHD Web Central's terms of service by clicking here. Once I click register, the first thing I'll be asked to insert is my date of birth. If you are under the age of 13, you will see this parent registration page. Please complete your parent or guardian's information. They will receive an email notification that you've created an account in NHD Web Central. If your parent or guardian does not have access to an email address, please speak with your teacher or your NHD mentor. They can receive the email and print a copy for your parent or guardian to read. So I'm just going to put in my parent or guardian's name, email, and phone number, and click Next. Then I will be taken to this register page. This is where you put in your own information. So your first name, last name, email, a username, and a password. You will need to create your own username and password. So I will just put in that information here. Once I put in a username, I will see in the top right corner, username is good. That means it's not been taken yet. If it has been taken, you'll see a yellow box telling you you need to choose a new username. Then I'll put in a password and I'll put it in again. It's important that you write down your username and your password right away so you don't forget that. Next, you'll accept the terms of service, which you can again review at the bottom of this page. And then you'll need to click the I am not a robot recapture question. Sometimes you'll see a pop up like this where you'll be asked to select the pictures. And let's see and verify. There we go. And then you'll click register. You'll be prompted to insert that new password that you just created one more time. And then you'll click sign in. And then you'll see a page that looks like this. Since you are starting your own website, you will click the gray Start Now button. You will not need to link to an existing website because you're working individually. So you'll click Start Now and you'll have a page that looks like this. There are some important features on this page that you should take note of. The first is the Edit Site button. This is where you'll click to go in and actually create your website. The View Site button lets you preview the most current work saved on your website. You can't make edits here, but you can just view to see what your website will look like to your judges, to your teachers, or to anybody who's viewing. The next thing is this allow link button. This allows other users like your teacher to join your website. Once you click this, the user has 24 hours to complete their own registration and link to your website. Up here, is your site key. This is your unique URL for your website. So the site key is what you will turn in during registration for an NHD contest. This URL will take users directly to your website. Down here, we have the size limit of your website. All NHD websites have a size limit of 100 megabytes. So as you start adding content to your website, you'll notice this bar going down as you add images, videos, MP3 files, PDFs, whatever you're adding to your website. As you add more and more, you will see your amount of megabytes remaining right here. And finally, we have this red remove site button. This will completely delete your website. This cannot be undone. So if you 
really want to start over your website, you can click remove site and create a brand new website. But remember, this cannot be undone. And that's how you get started with setting up an individual website on NHD Web Central.